afternoon. My name is John Petrak and I serve as the Executive Vice President of the Realtors Association of Metropolitan Pittsburgh. During this year, we're endeavoring to produce a video series relative to fair housing within the greater Pittsburgh metropolitan area, as well as diversity and inclusion within the industry. Today, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to welcome Ty Allen, Realtor. Ty, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. If you wouldn't mind telling us a little, bit, a little bit about yourself. Um, as you said, my name is Ty Allen. Um, I've been in the industry now for, in the next two months, eight years. It'll be my eight year anniversary. Um, I've been in a bunch of different industries before I decided to do uh, the real estate industry, but it's always been a passion of mine. I have to be quite frank, it was really a passion of mine. No matter what I was doing, I always had a passion about home ownership and real estate. Um, I have a background in uh, marketing, um, banking, um, online, and uh, wireless technology. Okay, so all of those kind of feed Prepared in me, and help. Yeah, yeah. In the real estate business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, to honestly, uh, a few of um, our other members had suggested I talk to you because of your relative success within the industry. Nice, nice. Uh, Thank so, you. Whoever you are. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, what would you cr credit that success to? Um, I, I would have to say my um, upbringing. Um, I have a, a had very tenacious mother. She has since passed, and. Um, I mean, my dad also was, was, is very tenacious as well. So, I mean, just having a, a strong leadership and upbringing an entrepreneurship spirit. And, you know, it's, it's six of us siblings. I'm one of the elder uh, siblings out of all of us. And just never seen her quit. So, um, with that, I, I, I can't see myself, you know, doing anything less than what I've seen her, her do mm -hmm. um, in, in our rearing years. And then, you know, the amount of importance that she put on education and making a positive impact on society like that was big for her and even though she was from the south and you know probably had a middle school education she really wanted all of us to graduate and have a sense of higher education you know which I've completed a couple different degrees, mm -hmm. bachelor's degree, I have an MBA. Congratulations. Um, thanks, a couple of designations through here. Mm -hmm. um, so, we always like to hear that. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, this that's sort of, I would have to lend my success to, to that. Good. Being a woman of color, do you feel that that has contributed to or affected your success or your sales production in any way? Um, I think it, it, it has, in my opinion. Um, in my prior career, I've had uh, a real strong sense of sales experience and sales leadership experience and was always the top in those roles. Mm -hmm. So in, in that sense, it prepared me for to sell just about anything, in my opinion. Um, so it all sort of culminated into sort of what I'm doing now. And as far as like, um, as far as being prepared I think it helps me as far as someone identifying with who I am and having that trust factor by seeing someone that sort of looks like them and knowing that they have their best interest at heart, if that makes sense. Sure, sure. Now, would you encourage other people of color to enter the industry? Yes, yes. It's definitely needed. It's no. definitely needed. I, I, I agree with you and I think that brings a different perspective to the industry, which is need which is very much needed uh, and, and I totally agree mm -hmm. I agree and my last question for you Ty have you ever felt that you've experienced bias by a consumer or from a consumer or for that matter another member of the industry um, I, I have from um, our consumers you know, it's a lot of times a lot of the biases that you feel in the space that you're in the area that you're in um, sort of comes out in how people interact with you, mm -hmm. no matter what your title or your role may be in, in your space. So they look at you from their socioeconomic biases or perceptions that they may have. So, you know, I'm going along doing the job that I was licensed to do by the state, and, you know, I've had the police call on me on more than one occasion. Mm -hmm. you had know, a property. Had a property. Had a property showing. 
and you know not only it does it have um, a negative connotation but it, it's embarrassing so you're you're with a consumer and one of them was the first meeting I ever had with that person and the cops are knocking at the door wondering why you're in this property mm -hmm. um, good thing that that both of those became clients that closed those are recorded sales um, so it sure. didn't deter the process at all um, they liked the way I handled the process. They liked the way they were like, oh my God, I don't know how I would have handled if the cop showed up at my job. Yeah. I'm unwarranted. Um, so in, in that sense, you know, from the consumer standpoint, yes. And, you know, from some some simple choice like those for sale by owners, mm -hmm. you know, they utilize, utilize the MLS. And, you know, a lot of times they facilitate the sale. The, the minimum fee exactly yeah so you're not business dealing, model yeah, you're not dealing with a counterpart you're not calling a counterpart to set an appointment you're literally calling um that consumer and you know if they have any preconceived biases it definitely comes out at that time mm -hmm. so you're calling to set an appointment now if this is a real instance you're calling to get an access code and they refuse to give it to you you know so you know but they don't like the way you sound they don't trust you walking in their property and you know i had a counterpart in my office call the same number like within 10 minutes apart and get the code what a problem mm -hmm. you know and i had more experience been in the business longer this was a newer agent but they felt more comfortable with the way that person sound um as opposed to me you know, i so. appreciate you sharing those two instances mm -hmm. and that because that basically evidences that we still have a lot of work to do yes. within within this realm yes i thank you very much for joining us thank we you truly for having me we truly appreciate your participation and best of luck in the future thank you so much